Hi everybody, it's Vicki and welcome to my channel. And today I have a quilty box opening for you. Let's look inside. This is the November box. And uh, I know I'm a little late and I won't list my excuses, but let's look inside and see what's in it. Look, nothing's in my box this month. No, that's not true. The truth is that I already shot this video and I dropped my camera and for some reason it would not let me um, play back the videos that I shot earlier. I always shoot two. One where I just make sure that everything's right in the frame and I usually sing you a little song but you don't get to see that. And uh, then I actually shoot once I know the lighting is half decent. I'm not a great videographer. But, you know, just make sure you're not like shooting from here down or shooting from here up, that kind of thing. So, anyway, uh, so everything is out of my box already, so I'll just go through it. And, uh, of course, I won't seem as surprised, but, you know, the important stuff isn't my surprise, it's what's inside the box. So, here it goes. And, of course, we have the what's inside your box card, where um, it introduces Tammy Silvers, and she has a um, design firm, and under the label Tamarini's, which I love, that's a cute name. Well, she's been quilting since 1991 and she says she loves fabrics like um, batiks and bold prints and chicken prints and uh, she and I have that in common because in my stash over there you'll find a lot of chicken and egg and, and prints like that. So very, and batiks of course. In fact, I still have my batiks from uh, another uh, quilty box another month's box plus I went and bought the um, layer cake of them as well an extra one because I do have a project in mind in fact I thought I'd already be working on it by now but you know how that goes so um, let's see she um, like Tamarini's is her design line and she's published um, like this pattern that came in the box now this pattern I cannot find listed on the card so um, I don't know what the value of it is but it's very cool because it's for a not just for a quilt, but it's also for a an ottoman. Don't see that very often in the quilting world. And it uses uh, the 10 inch layer cakes. So very, very different. Thank you. All right, so let's just get right into the items. And by the way, you might see a strange dog come up. Uh, his name is Declan and he is my newest foster. I still have uh, Lonnie. I usually only have one foster dog at a time because I have two of my own dogs, which were both previous fosters. But Declan was adopted out about three years ago and um, sadly he came back to rescue. And whoever had him when he was in rescue the first time gets him back when he comes back and that was me. So now I have two fosters and two of my dogs in a very small yard and house. But you know what, we make it work, right? Keeps them out of the shelter. So um, the fabric this month was all beautiful and folded nicely, um, but now it's not <laughs> because I'd already opened it. And it's called the Seashore Island Batiks, and it is 21 fabrics, two pieces, two pieces each, layer cake. So they're 10 inch squares, and there's 42 of them, and they are just beautiful. So I am going to show them to you. Um, and that is $38. If you don't like to see all the fabric, then just fast right through it, I guess. But um, there's several uh, colorways of this polka dot here. It's kind of an interesting polka dot. This is the bright pink. There's also several colorways of this kind of swirly, kind of wave, ocean wave looking, and this is the darker blue one. Then there's several colorways, of course, of this, I call it the sea creatures, where it has seashells and um, sand dollars and starfish. There's actually a couple versions of that, I think, or else it's just on a bigger piece of fabric, you have a bigger variety, I'm not sure. Then there's several of this very interesting fabric that is a um, fishing net, or as they used to call it in Kodiak, where I lived, web. And uh, this one's a beautiful light blue, kind of like uh, I was in the Grand Cayman um, at the beginning of the month, and they had this real light blue water out at Stingray City. And here's another colorway of the green dots and another colorway of the nets. This is the lighter purple uh, lilac with uh, some brown and beige in it. Uh, another colorway of sea creatures. This one has, let's see, my piece has sand, um, seahorses and coral type. There, there might be two different kind of underwatery looking ones. And another of fish scales, and there's a couple of this. And this is the peach one. 
and the polka dots in yellow. And here's this other, I see this one's seashells and the other's more like sea creatures. And this is really pretty because it's the color of sand and then the um, sea creatures are, um, the shells are like purples and browns. And another of the fish scales in a dark green. And then this looks like it has fish and coral and turtles with the orange background. And here's another of the waves in yellow with bits of gold and almost orange, almost. And then here's the orange web or net. And then I think I only saw one of this at all of the fish and the coral, just a straight out fish. But like I say, it might be a, a large repeat and I'm getting just a little 10 inch portion of it. And then here is the web again in a dark purple. And here's one of my favorite colorways. And this is the um, seashells again. And another web or net in the blue and green. And then here's a very darker, much darker blue in the, um, this looks like ocean waves, but not that tight one. This is a, a larger print. And then the royal blue or darker blue in the web. And then finally, the final piece is a batik that is just gorgeous. It has the polka dots too, I can see. But I just love all the colors in this. The, the turquoise teal, the Caribbean blue, the pink, yellow, green, just gorgeous. Thank you, Quilty Box, for that. And that is by islandbatik.com. I think we've had Island Batik before. I think that's what that was over, over there. And we have two threads. One is a lighter blue, a Caribbean blue, and the other is a darker blue. And the Caribbean blue is a six strand, which you can divide it to use it, so it's more like an embroidery floss, and it is Aurifil, and it is $5. And then the other is a 40 weight Aurifil in the darker blue, and it's perfect for uh, quilting when you want to create texture and when you want to create a quilted motif that stands out. It's also valued at five dollars. So these are five each. Then there's a little packet here of something called soak. And it is a laundry detergent. And it uh, is pineapple grove is the name of it. It's supposed to, I guess it smells like pineapple and I'd love to open it because I love the smell of pineapple. But uh, you know, what would I do with it once I opened it if I wasn't ready to use it? And it says that it is a mini soak in Pineapple Grove. And soak is a modern laundry care, perfect for washing your quilts, sweaters, swimwear, workout wear, and all the delicates you care about most. It's made in Canada, and it's the best, easiest to use, most deliciously scented, no rinse laundry product you'll find. It's eco-friendly, and it cleans beautifully, and is ideal for hand or machine washing. And show your laundry and the planet some love with soak. Uh, and this is its newest fragrance, I guess, Pineapple Grow. So that'll be interesting to use that. And that is valued at a dollar. It's a little sample size. And the next item, um, it lists one, but I actually have two in the box. So I don't know. I, I assume this price for $12 is... Oh, wait. Yeah, it does. It is for two. I see it now. Um, this is called Pina Colada, and this one's called Caribbean Blue. And they are uh, from National Nonwovens, and they are soft to the touch felt, made from sustainable natural fibers. I kind of see that theme in here today. Um, exotic felt is made from an innovative bamboo rayon blend. The feel of this is felt is naturally soft, but surprisingly strong. It's ideal for creative projects that you'd like to withstand the test of time, or a few family trips to the beach. And they are two fat quarters, 20 by 22 inches each. And it's $12, so I guess $6 each. So so those are the items in my quilty box. Um, like I said, this wasn't on there, so I don't really know the value of this pattern. But I will tell you, it is from Tamarini's, which is the um, Who's in Your Box curator this month. So um, you can look it up online. So. Well, thank you for watching my video and hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. And a one horse open sleigh, 
O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way home.